Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White and today we'll be playing through some more The Last of Us Part 2. Last episode was intense, the episode before that was intense, and the episode before that was certainly intense. It's just a very intense game and I'm excited to see what's up next. Take a second before we begin to like the video as I give a huge shout out to our patron of the day, Why the Cake. Thank you so, so much for your support. It means the world to me. I really, really appreciate your contribution. We've done so many fun things with the Patreon committee this year uh, and last year as well. We did SRG Con, we did the Summer Games Biathlon, all sorts of really amazing, fun stuff for the community to enjoy, which has been so, so important. Uh, considering we're in a global pandemic. All that fun stuff. Anyways, thank you so much, Why the Cake. I appreciate you a lot. And now, let's get on to the gameplay video. Enjoy! You see the TV station? Yeah, it's that way. Uphill. Uphill both ways in the snow! Isn't that what they say? Are we just gonna look through this? Fence? We gonna go around? We are. Oh. oh. More bodies. More shot bodies. Tommy definitely came this way. I bet he went through there. <gasps> yeah, that seems to be what they're indicating. Nice little hidden alcove. Seems like a perfect spot for something to be hidden. But I don't see anything just yet. A brick! Now the question is, do we have a brick? We have a bottle. Well, I definitely want this brick instead. Brick is the superior throwing item. I think we can all agree. But I would like to put it away. There we go. Okay. Stop. A trap. Trip wire. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. They're all over. That's great. This will be fun. This will be really fun. One wrong step. Yeah. Let's be great. careful. Great. Great, let's be so careful. See, the thing about this game is I constantly want to look around for things to take. And so that's not very conducive to um, not stepping on tripwire. There is tripwire everywhere. Oh no. Okay. So the thing is, I can go through that glass, but. I could also, can I jump over the, yeah, okay. Let's see if there's anything hiding in this, oh, no. A bottle, well we've chosen brick instead. So we're not gonna go that way. We can't climb on this, so it seems like this is the way we're going. Don't use your bat. Don't get rid of your bat durability. Okay. Did this used to be a gym? Man. I don't like gyms. They smell like sweat. Look, some trophies. It's kind of cool. I just know I'm going to accidentally trip tripwire. Why did I immediately go to the cash register like, let's take all the money from this. What is that going to do for you, Brianna? In this post-apocalyptic world? Nothing. Dollar bills mean nothing to you. But that was like my first instinct. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, okay. Camera did a zoom in there, kind of scared me. I'm walking so really carefully. Covered. Probably don't cut through here much with all this. 
There's that silver lining. Okay, so we have this. Don't step on the wire, Brianna. But I just want to see that. I want to inspect. Uh, oh, there it, it just triggered. There we go. More of this stuff. Okay. <sighs> There's trip wire there and there. We could climb over this car. There was still some more going on in the gym though. So I definitely want to make sure that I explore fully. Is this crouching? Yeah. Want to make sure I get all of the good stuff that, oh, hello, a bench. We love benches here. We rebels, we adore benches. Great, so what do we choose? Fire rate. Fire rate or nothing. We don't have a ton of parts there. I do... Do not know what to choose. Decisions are so hard. Plus 45% fire rate. You know what? Let's go for it. We're just gonna go for it. Don't overthink it. Instinct. Nailed it. Good job, Ellie. Okay. Um, what else is in here? Okay, Dina's in here. Hello, Dina. Okay. Looks like we're full on everything. What is up with that? Yeah, we are really full on everything, huh? Okay. Well, that's great. I guess we don't need to take all this stuff. Ooh, what do we have here? Rebecca, by now you've realized I didn't get on the bus. I love you, but I don't understand how you can stand by these fucking fascists. They killed one of my neighbors, dragged him on his knees, and shot him in front of his own home. His name was Jimmy. I've known him since he was 13, when I caught him swiping a magazine from my shop. I was the first person he came out to. He said this weird prayer before he died. I keep replaying it in my mind. May the current be calm. May she guide me home. I'm gonna head up to the cabin, figure out what to do next. I hope you'll come to your senses and meet me there, Fran. That's a bummer. Yeah, that's tough. And it, it, it presents a sort of debate that I'm sure is really difficult for anybody who finds them in this, you know, very fractured world. You have to ask yourself where do your allegiances lie? Because if, for example, this person, Fran, um, they did what they did to Jimmy and Fran doesn't want to align with anybody who would act that way, who would do that thing because it is so cruel. On the other side, Rebecca has to make a choice if she's going to align with this group, despite the fact that they do horrible things because of survival. And is the cruelty of everyone else just the same, just as bad? And is it risky to choose moral high ground over a social network? That's a really, really hard thing for these people to have to decide. I can't imagine. So we have here a um, belt ceremony for the gym, bills, lawn care services, yoga, flyer. How do you train your mind to stay focused during work? And no one ever figured out the correct answer. Success starts when you quit talking and start doing. Rude. I'm like, I literally talk for a living, so <laughs> you lose me on that quote there, chief. 
Okay, cool. Why would they have a soda machine in a gym? You don't need cola after a workout. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Okay, cool. So we pretty much cleared the whole gym. So now we can go carefully out here. Now I'd like to go over this car carefully and around this tree and see. This is making me nervous. Yeah, they're getting tricky to see. What? Is that like a hint? Don't do it, Ellie. Okay, so I feel like, I don't know. Why do I feel like they're, you know when a game is like, don't go in this region, it's dangerous. And you're like, I know the best treasure is hidden there. <laughs> I wanna go, I wanna go in there, but I don't want to at the same time. <laughs> okay, what else we got? Bench, our best friend, Bench. Ah, a windshield car. Classic. Okay. There's trap there. There's stuff there. I want to go in there for sure. Are we going to get through on top of this car? Or can we just go? Well, we'll just go around. It's fine. It'll be great. Visitor parking only. Well wishes donation application hours. What's in here, huh? Furniture sale. All furniture, 25% off. Well, now I think all furniture has a five finger discount going on, but uh, I don't know if I want any of this furniture. I'm gonna be honest, it's probably moldy. 50% off of these books. <gasps> Card. Take. Bizarre bra. Oh. <laughs> it's like the it's like the name Barbara, but with bizarre in there. Because I'm gonna be honest, my first thought was it's a bizarre bra. <laughs> <laughs> And then my second thought was, that's bizarre, bruh. <laughs> but no, it's, it's bizarre, bruh. Like, Barbara. Okay. All right. Moving on. 80 points brains, 100 points brawn, affiliation none, real name, Bahar Reza. Young, I'm going to do this. Okay. Young Bahar Reza wants, oh wait, it's not like Barbara. It's like Bahar Reza. Wait a minute. <laughs> now I'm confused. Okay, young Bahar Reza once had a promising career in science, but her stint as Dr. Uckman's assistant ended in catastrophe. During one of Uckman's unauthorized experiments, she was doused with an early dangerous form of his strength-giving formula, causing all of her muscles, even the ones in her face, to become impossibly swole. <laughs> ridiculously strong and a danger to everyone around her. She was shunned by society. On her own for years seeking revenge, she recently found a friend and ally in the aged and frail Naledi the Youthful, proving that opposites attract. Okay. They literally use the word swole. Even the ones in her face. She's got... <laughs> Swole face muscles. What is that like? All right. I, this is the most curious card of them all so far, honestly. Bizarbra. Okay. Like, do you think she could knock someone out with just her eyebrows? Is that her? Is that how swole her her face muscles are? Curious. It just, it begs the question. Okay, so is that all that we have here? It looks like there's a clothing store in there currently blocked off. There's no interaction button to open that. Here's a door. 
And there's many doors inside this door. Let's try this one first. <laughs> really scared me. Yeah. Yeah. I think the volume's too loud in my headphones. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for screaming. I'm sure that if anybody was wearing headphones, they are wrecked right now. I'm sorry. But that's really, that really scared me. I think my, my sound is too loud. <laughs> it's very immersive. I'm very immersed in the game. Anyways. Um, clearly, I would not do well in this apocalyptic world. Like, clearly, I would do very poorly. Because, obviously, I am not hardened at all. Okay, let's see. Increased maximum health is a great upgrade. We are totally doing it. Um, move much faster in listen mode. No, come back. Faster crafting. Yeah, I think I don't really care about faster crafting at all, but I do want to eventually work my way up to um, better health kits. Yes, stun bombs. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Because other than that, we could do listen mode movement speed, eventually working our way up to endure. Yeah, I think getting to improved health kit is going to be really important going for wait we have wait <laughs> oh there are new branches okay originally i'm looking at the three branches and i'm like we're not very far in this game and we haven't found enough supplements that we're almost f full on both <laughs> okay um i don't really care about smoke bombs right now so let's try to get up to endure. We're not going to get there yet, but let's get there as, as quick as possible. We have a safe, which means we're going to need to find the safe code somewhere in this building. Okay. Unless we found it previously and I'm just forgetting, which is possible. It's not written on the walls anywhere, right? It's probably gonna be in a letter or something. Okay, let's see. We got a card here. Missing cat! That's one thing about this game that I feel like is just wrong. I feel like stray cats would have taken over this world. Cats are extremely proficient predators and I feel like they are going to be way craftier than infected and I just feel like this world is really missing the animal life that it would have in my opinion well, let's see what this uh, note says oh look at that number M, make sure you take the envelope to the bank before Monday AM. Made the combo the last six digits to Stacy's phone number. Figured that'd be easy for you to remember. Heh. <laughs> now, let me figure that out a little bit. That'd be easy for you to remember. Why? Why would that be easy for this person to remember? Let's see, we have 206 555 01 something. So we have the last. So we're missing the last two digits. Huh. Well, where's that ripped piece? Let 
We gotta find Stacy's phone number some other way. Okay. Or maybe we're just making it too complicated. I don't know. Let's see, what do we have? It was two something something. No, we don't need that right now. Oh. Shimmer. Let's see, we have 206-555-01 something. 206-555-01. So the last six there would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So 65, 55, 01. But we're missing the last two digits. 65. No, I've already I already forgot it. 65, 55, 01. There we go. Okay. We'll try it. It's probably not right. 65. We passed it. 55. Oh, one. Yeah, that's not right. We're missing the last two digits. That makes sense. Okay, so let's see if we can find it. Let's open this door and not get the crap scared out of us. How about that? Do we ever think about that, Brianna? A nasty diaper changing station. In fact, this whole bathroom is just horrible. It's just horrible. Well, there we go. For a di for, <laughs> dang it, for a good time, call Stacy. See, this is what I was worried about. I didn't like the implication about Stacy in the letter. Because if this person had a real relationship with Stacy, it wouldn't be a joke. But if he was just crushing on Stacy, then him having her phone number memorized is a little bit weird. But those are our last digits there. Okay, so 206-555-0133. So the last digits are 55, or the six digits are 550133. Thirty-three. Okay, we opened the safe. We did it. All right, we got some ammo. I like it. Oh, we're full on ammo. Oh, we're full on health pack. No, I hate it. It's it's my absolute. I hate it so much. How can we be full on ammo? Man. Oh, I hate leaving stuff behind. I hate it. All right, but that was door number one, door number two, and there's no door behind here. And so we still can't get into the clothing portion from here. I think I turned my volume down too much when I got jump scared. All right, so then let's go back around. Tall grass. I think we're okay here. Oh, I see it. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be able to actually continue on without setting off one of these traps. Oh. Could I have climbed through that? Because if I could not set off a trap, I'm kind of concerned if I was to set it off by something else, I'm a little bit concerned that, I don't know, that they're gonna like hear me and then I'm gonna have to, oh, interesting. Are you throwing? There we go. All right, let's get another brick. Brick is my best friend. Thank you, Brick. All right, we're here, we made it. Okay, cool. Oh, we're gonna open it up. Great, I love it. What's inside this moving van? What is that? 
it's um, a map with horses and battles. Okay. Fine. A broken mirror. Seven years of bad luck. It's bad news. Bad news bears right there. There's so many resources. I just want to take. And I can't. More traps and another trap. So we go back inside, go out the other way. Excuse me, Dina. Always in the way, Dina. Okay. Oh, there's a trap right there. Okay. There's not. Aha! There is a way around. Look at that. So so far I haven't had to set off a, set off a trap that I didn't want to. I've been able to work around them. Which is cool. I like the ability to get through an area in multiple different ways. I just think that's great design. There's a TV station. Where? Ah, oh, there. Good. A big circular building. Mm. But now... I don't think we can get around this one. I was just about mm. to say, now Hang I on. think we're going to have to set off a trap in order to move forward. Oh, easy. And the game does it for How me. How else are we going to get through? Thanks, you Dina. That was pretty loud. That was my concern. I was worried someone was going to hear it and come investigate. Oh my gosh. This game reads my mind. Or do I read its mind? It technically was invented before my thoughts. Okay. Yeah, I think this is another one we're gonna have to, cause I don't, I don't see another way around. So, brick time it is. <laughs> so loud. Where did those stairs used to go? <clears throat> Little path for no reason. Good. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you almost got me. Yeah, you did. But then I saw you, and therefore I didn't get got. I almost did, but then I didn't. Anyways, so I get the feeling that I'm either gonna need to go up that way or. Yes, that's precisely what needs to happen. Okay. Well then. There's that one. We're not being subtle right now. Listen, Dina, you Maybe started it. Us. Yeah. Or they might be waiting to ambush us. Okay. What? I don't want this bottle. I want brick. Take. All right, moving on. And Dina, move. Always in my way, Dina. All right, opening the door. Ugh, need to get in there. We're not opening the door because it has ivy all over it. And ivy is the world's strongest material. We certainly cannot brush it aside to open this door, and we definitely can't use our knife to cut it away to get inside this door. Therefore, we're gonna have to find another way. Uh, Dina, um, even though I'm on this side now, you're also gonna have to climb over because uh, even if it was locked, we certainly can't move the ivy aside and unlock it for you. So you're just gonna have to go around. I'm sorry. You snooze, you lose, Dina. Okay. Look at, looking good so far. There it is. Stay low. Stay low? We announced our arrival with the bugle of explosions. It feels empty. I don't buy it. You see a way in? Not yet. I forget how to run in this game. 
Can someone remind me how to run in this game? I don't want to run, press all the buttons and then accidentally shoot my weapon. <laughs> On accident. Got it. Thank you. Maybe we could climb up? Maybe we could climb up. But you know we're going to have to explore first. We got ourselves a hype fire, sans fire, here. Okay. Ah, that's some makeshift walls there. Good. Okay. Got some more hype fires. Always a good thing to have around. Ah, another brick. It's always good to have a brick around. You never know when you're gonna need one. Aha! A shiny thing. <gasps> Take! Some parts. Good. News channel van. Excellent. Looking a little dilapidated there. So, we can do some climbing and see what we can see. I don't know if there's value in climbing this in particular platform. Looks like we could use it to get up there, maybe. Or maybe we just fall down. We just fall down. That's okay. We'll take the other way. We'll find a better platform. That platform. That way, or this way, I think. Look at this, like, destroyed, kind of like worn down concrete texture. It's kind of cool. More of the indestructible ivy. Uh-oh, there's a dead body. What are we about to find? Oh, fuck. Oh, it's brutal. Did Tommy do this? Let's get inside. Listen. Oh, he moves. I don't like it. It kind of looks like his jaw was shot off. That's, that's as brutal as it gets. Yucky. How about you? You look like you were shot with arrows in the gut. Also yuck. Oh, I see. Okay, there's an open window there. But how to get in? Platform, not, not this guy window there but the platform doesn't extend I don't see any interactable over here to move this aside can we get up on this platform we cannot We can get on this platform and we can look at that open window with the tiny pipe hanging off of it. Oh, it's a rope. <laughs> this whole time I thought it was just a teensy tiny pipe. <laughs> I'm like looking at this open window going, how do I get up there? <laughs> oh boy. Oh man, she, she, uh, she's not the brightest, uh, crayon in the crayon box. <laughs> we went with brightest crayon in the crayon box. I am pretty sure, I am like 90% sure that is not how the saying goes. The idea of it is there, but I'm pretty sure that's not the right one. Okay. Okay. Good talk, good talk, good experience, good game.
Good try. Oh, all right. Um, moving on. Tiny pipes. Okay. Is food in here? Is yes, food. Uh. Take. Are we actually, no, we're not actually ruining our durability. That's good. Okay, I was a little bit concerned, but we're good. Okay. I like this. Oh, what, Be Dina? Careful. What, what, what? Oh, the person. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Ooh, I do like hatchet, but we have this baseball bat. Um, I don't know which one I want. They both have four durability. They both have stab stabby ability. I don't know what I want. Mm, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with um, the baseball bat. WLF supplies. I mean, this area has really technically definitely been cleared, but still, oh, we're gonna go all the way to the ground to climb beneath this, apparently. I really like the detail that they put into this area. Um, there's something about this like wooden paneled pathway that's very TV station. I don't know why, it just is. I like that detail, I like it a lot. Okay, I see. So we could climb that because I'm guessing you're locked. You're not, I guessed wrong. Okay, we're not on our A game today. We're not. I'm wondering if that's maybe another one of those, you can enter here multiple different ways. Wait, oh, it's a different room. Okay, cool. <laughs> Excellent. Supplements, just saying that in the Activia song. Don't DMCA me, please. Anyways, mm, okay, now let's do this. What is that? Humanitarian award for being a good human. Oh boy, that's pretty brutal. Oh, yikes. All right, um, let's see what we can clear here. Oh, this is definitely not Tommy. Who the fuck did this? I don't know. Well, but it's a message. If I may make this just happen. You think they're still here? I hope not. Keep your eyes open. If I may make a guess, a Sherlock Holmes detective um Assumption. This is the same symbol that was under the um, mural of the lady who was like all praying and religious looking and yeah, so I'm gonna guess this is, this is the religiously um, similar people, group, faction. I don't want to just call them religious because this is clearly not religious, but um, they have sort of religious symbol, similar to some religious symbolism um, is that in their thing. Again? Who are these guys? Someone else the WLF fucked with. Well, they seem fucking deranged. Maybe zealot is a better word rather than religious. We got some parts, takey, take, take, and takey, take, take, we shall. Ooh, I love this. Acoustic soundproofing. I don't think it acoustically soundproofs anymore, but back in the day, I bet it did a great job. Okay. 
Good, good, good. There's a little area down there. Some big ol' cameras. Our next story at 7 p.m. tonight. People disemboweled and hung from the ceiling. Is it motivated by food? Not usually. More on this next week. <laughs> I couldn't hold it. I broke character. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just say things sometimes. <laughs> Oh man, okay. Uh, this, these rooms are very boring. There's nothing really going on here. We could go up these stairs. There's a little pathway back here. What do you lead to? Pile of trash, every studio has one. My studio certainly does. More stairs. Okay, so it seems like all roads lead to stairs. Could we, like, cut this down? Be kind of a cool detail. But I just don't know. <clears throat> do I want to waste a bullet trying just to see if the game will let me? I think we do. Just to see. Don't miss. No. Mm -mm. Okay. It was a good effort, though. Um. Up the stairs. Up the stairs we go. Channel 13. Take. Noise. Big empty newsroom. What is there to do in this big empty newsroom? Nothing much to do in this big empty newsroom. Big empty newsroom, yeah. I'm full on so many things. I don't need to be crouching, but thank you, Ellie. Okay. Oh man, I remember so clearly in my The Last of Us 1 playthrough on YouTube. Oftentimes, I would just be crouching just in case because I was expecting someone from around every single corner in every single room, no matter what. Which, in my opinion, considering the game, you know, is a good survival tactic. But um, it's also very slow. And so, so many people in the comments were like, why is she crouching? This entire game! Why? And now, see how much I've grown? Ellie was like, I'm gonna stay crouched. And I was like, no, Ellie, we don't need to be crouched. You see how much I've grown? She's, she's a professional gamer now. <laughs> Mm -mm. Nope. We're full on all our ammo. It's so painful. Wow, I hate this. I should have played on a harder difficulty. Hate it. I just want to take the things. This way. Dina, don't tell me what to do. Okay? Thanks. I'm a professional now. Ooh, hello. Take. <sighs> no takes. No takes in here. Shameful. Man, it's... It's gotta hurt to be disemboweled. I just, maybe I'm assuming, 
but you know, it, it looks like it hurts. Really looks like it hurts for your intestines to be ripped out of your abdomen. Could be wrong, but this kind of looks like that. Okay, that's down the stairs. We already went down the stairs, so I think here. we're good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good. Wow, look at that. You can look, you can really look out. Look at that. Oh, look, a little mountain in the background. So, uh, anybody from this area know the mountain? Can name the mountain? Because I would like to know the name of this mountain. This is nice. I would tourist there. Look at all these trees. That's crazy. So many trees. Nice little view there. Um, someone in the chat suggested it could be Mount Spiky Top. It might be. Shit. That door is locked. I don't like this. We're too exposed. We have to search all of it. I want to find Leah. Just be careful. So are you gonna huck me up there or what? Are you gonna make me climb across this and get into this open window? Oh, do not jump scare me. Oh my gosh. Sneaky loading screen. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff here. Good stuff. Great. Fabulous. A golden horse statuette. Why is the question. Okay. A TV, probably it was. We are in a TV station after all. This is terrifying. This is a very open concept area. Huh. Isn't this where the guy was outside on the patio? Dead? But this is very overgrown, so this has been here a long time. So how did he get out there is my question. Can I climb on this? I cannot. So really, how did he get out there is my question. Okay, I don't want to go through this door yet. I feel like it's a trap. So we're going to go through this area instead. Look through all this stuff. Make sure we got all the stuff. Uh-huh. Looking for cards. We're looking for letters. Nice little mid-century modern coffee table here. Good interior design. Just great interior work. You were also shot with an arrow. Actually, you look identical to the person who was shot with an arrow outside. I think you might be the same design. And I just happened to remember. Oh, picture of a cat! Whose cat is that? I must know. Why do I feel like that's someone's real cat? Oh, there's another picture of this cat! I feel like this is a real picture of someone's cat. Anyways, I love it. <laughs> Sifting through the... A card! Perfect. Kimmy Mella. Ooh, I like it. Look at this. Got a little druid thing going on. Let's see. 80 brains, 60 brawn, real name, Kimmy Mella Green, Society of Champions. What do we got here? After her family lost their house to greedy developers, young scientist Kimmy Mella Green's public protests fell on deaf ears. Frustrated, she turned her research and animal behavior into a means of political action. Many late nights at the lab culminated in a device that allows her to telepathically communicate with animals. Now, as a member of the Society of Champions, Kimmy Mella brings her animal allies to places around the world where civil strife and avarice threaten to force people from their homes. And when evildoers don't listen to her, she lets her animals do the talking. Hero. Well, yeah, you can be a hero when your animals are the ones doing the villainy for you. I'm just saying, it's kind of a cop-out. Nice little candle there. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. I like it. And we're full on resources. Okay. Always full on the resources. Okay, so we've done everything in this little area. And now what there is to do is go in here. Why do I feel like there's like something waiting for us in here? 
So far, it's just a staircase. I have made some incorrect calls this time. That I have made some really incorrect calls so far today. All right. Okay, elevator. Yeah, what is that? Oh, this is where the dead person was. All I hear is music. I don't hear what they're talking about. This way. I, what? I am not full on that. I just shot a bullet at the rope. Did I already refill? I am not. Are you saying I'm full? Oh my gosh. I hate this game. Now, see, now I turned my volume up again and now I'm scared again. <laughs> All right, more one Eiffel Tower, two Eiffel Tower. Big Eiffel Tower, tiny Eiffel Tower. Two Eiffel Tower. Why? Why do you need two? Do you love Paris that much? Network executive? You're like, wow. I got this tiny Eiffel Tower, but I have the option of having a bigger Eiffel Tower so that you can see more of the details. And really, I want them both. Sus. Rue, a little bird told me those scars you brought in from the coast talked. I heard Isaac is quite impressed with you. I know you've been having doubts, but you've got to power through right now. Show him what happened at the coast wasn't a one-off and you'll be set for life. Think about how few people get this chance. I'm proud of you. Ugh. That just, that just stinks like indoctrination. Reeks of it. I just wanted to open the door. Then you really feel like you've cleared a room, you know? And right there is where we're going to end today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. What an episode. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Thanks for spending some time with me today. Please remember to like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And of course, please remember to subscribe to this little channel right here, Strange Rebel Gaming, so you don't miss the next video. That's all. I love you all.